Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Retro Pop Planet. So let's talk Game of Thrones. Has any franchise died a faster death than the Game of Thrones franchise? And why am I talking about Game of Thrones anyway? Well, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I'm into a lot of old outdated stuff. Game of Thrones may not actually be outdated, but are we ever gonna see the final book? Am I gonna finish reading the series? I don't know. Several years ago, a friend of mine convinced me to binge watch Game of Thrones on HBO before the final season premiered. I missed the first two episodes of that final season because I was overseas on vacation. And I remember sitting in a hotel room in Italy, scrolling through Twitter, and just seeing people complain, complain, complain after those first two episodes aired. And when I got home, yes, I did eventually catch up with the entire series. And uh, you know, eh. Why am I talking about Game of Thrones today? Well, here's why. If you caught my most recent thrift store video, I came across a grab bag full of porcelain figures. The initial one that caught my eye was a weird wizard guy, which turned out to be from the collectibles line of fantasy uh, called Christonia. Well, in the bag, which you might have seen briefly, were two wolves. Both of them had dates in the 1980s. One was 1983, the other I think was like 1986. My original goal was to turn around and just re-donate them because I just, I didn't have a use for them. But as I like to do often on this channel, uh, I had an idea for upcycling and Recently, I've seen that there's been a trend toward book nooks. Everyone is obsessed with book nooks. I saw these two wolves and I immediately thought of an opportunity to upcycle them into something that could actually be useful. So the thing that immediately caught my attention in Game of Thrones were the dire wolves. I love the dire wolves. I love dogs. So of course I love the dire wolves. Sure, the dragons were cool, but the dire wolves were awesome. Dire wolves needed more screen time, in my opinion. So when I saw these two porcelain figures, I immediately thought Ghost and Nymeria. Nymeria? Nymeria? Nymeria. So what I plan to do today on this channel is show you guys how you can make a simple set of bookends out of thrifted junk. Oh, hey, and before we go to the overhead shots, Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you like this kind of thing. And if you miss my thrifting video, go back and look where I actually picked this up in a Goodwill. So anyway, let's get to the build. Here we are, fresh out of the bag, and you can really see how dated these paint jobs are. In lieu of priming like I normally would, because of so many crevices, I'm just using a Liquitex white paint, watering it down slightly, and I'm gonna pass with three or four coats. I waited a full 24 hours to let the white get nice and dry and then I'm going to go back in with some black and fill in some of those details that we covered up. Ghost has red eyes so I'm going to see if I can achieve that same effect with a little bit of a black ring, a red iris and then finish with a black pupil. I'm also going to give Nymeria a pink tongue. I'm eventually going to go back in with a light wash just to tone it down.
So here's a really cool trick for building up lifelike fur textures and slight color gradations. I'm using some Pentel oil pastels and a makeup kit. Using this method, I can gradually build up color complexity. The other great thing is that if you add too many layers and get a little overzealous like I did, you can go back in with the white and just paint over the areas that were a little too deep. Now I'll repeat the same process with Numeria using cross layers of black and brown. Now that they are finished, I'm going to seal them up with a matte. And as an added detail on Ghost, I'm using a clear gloss nail polish. I picked up these really cheap brackets from Home Depot and originally I was going to nail them into the underside but I wasn't sure how well these porcelain figures would hold up to a screw so I just decided to hot glue them instead. They are now complete, let's hit those finishing shots. <laughs> 